before I get too mad. The first error of most people when it comes to philosophy and metaphysics is that there is no such thing as metaphysics. I'll debate Don Johnson looking for a heartbeat. The first error, number one, and these are not in any specific order, is that there's no such thing as metaphysics. There is no metaphysics, right? People think, oh, that's witches doing their uh, period juice brew from books that they got at Barnes and Noble. That's what metaphysics is. So we all know that's crazy unless you're a millennial witch, which there are a bunch of millennial witches now. So there's no metaphysics. Well, that's not what metaphysics is, dog. You thought it was your birth chart from a giant book from Barnes and Noble? That's not what metaphysics is. Why are you even believing what the sections of the Barnes and Noble book sections are titled that that's accurate? Why do you believe that's accurate? It's not accurate. Barnes and Noble's a lie, dude. So that there is no metaphysics, by the way, is itself a metaphysical claim. Shocker. Did you realize that? To claim that we don't have any knowledge, we can't have any knowledge, no one has knowledge of the domain of what's real is itself a claim about reality. And so on the face of it, number one mistake is that it's self-refuting. How could it be the case that there's no metaphysics when that is a statement about metaphysics? It's a statement about what exists, what's real. I'm sure a lot of you guys got to see Father Deacon Dr. Ananias over on uh, Church of the Eternal Logos. They recently did a, a couple hours of a stream on metaphysics. What is metaphysics? So if you saw that, <clears throat> or if you've seen any of the lectures that I've done for the last couple of years, then Hopefully we all have kind of a, an idea of what this is, even if we're not studied in the domain of philosophy, that's okay. It's okay. I'm going to give you a free pass today. You're going to get your certificate of good merit so that we all feel included here. Nobody feels left out. Everybody's equal here. Except me, more equal than all of you because I'm an e-celeb and you're not. But we're also still equal because contradictions are good and they exist and there's, pro there's no problem with that. Right, because the modern world has said there are no metaphysics, so we can accept contradictions. Contradictions are the norm. In fact, to be a good global citizen requires that you accept contradictions on a daily basis, on a minutely basis, on a secondly basis, second by second. You must accept the contradictions, bra, or else you are a begot. The metaphysics of Nicolas Cage. The metaphysics of Nicolas Cage. Today I feel crage. I feel the Nicolas Cage rage today, which is inappropriate for discussion of such a subtle divine topic, but we're doing it anyway. So the number one, there are no metaphysics. Most people, I think, if you're to ask them, well, they don't even know what it is. And then if you get past the assumption that it's the witch's brew section of, of Barnes and Noble, which does that even exist anymore? I don't even know. The bookstore, bookstores don't even exist anymore. See, how can we have debates when there are no more? Bookstores are gone, dude. When you go in the bookstore, it's a bunch of damn Funko Pops. They don't even have books in the bookstore. It's anime and Funko Pops, dude. Where did I wake up in Hell World? How did I get to Hell World? I, like a few years ago, I remember going to Nashville. There's 10 bookstores. I could go book, 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 book. I spent hundreds of dollars buying books. You see these books behind me. It's not a green screen. Now, somehow, I go in a bookstore and it's all anime, comic books, and Funko Pops. What? Any of you who owns Funko Pops, you need to be Funko Popped right now. I'm about to Funko pop your ass right now. What is wrong with you? The whole society is like a bunch of kids. So how are we going to, we can't have debate. Debate? How are you going to have debate in a society with everybody collecting fucking toys, dude? Funko pops? Well, why don't you debate the guy who has the most Funko pops? 
<laughs> Funko Pops. Dude, this society is going to fall. Funko Pops are a sign of the end of the world. Funko Pocalypse, dude. Funko, funk you, dude. Funk you to heck. I'm mad right now. I can't go to a bookstore without a bunch of damn toys. Get your fucking toys out of my bookstore, dude. You ruined bookstores. I know some of you younger ones. I like the anime. I like the Japanese style of the art. Uh, some would say Nippon, to use the technical term. It's just fascinating the way that they draw the fertile little nymphs. <laughs> it's fascinating. I love the anime art. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, you're weird. What are you talking about? Anime? Funko Pops? You know that when you go to hell... Everybody has it is a Funko Pop. You're just a big a big head, a big giant head, dude. People acting like they don't know what Funko Pops. Go to a freaking bookstore, and it's nothing but toys. And by the way, every bookstore now stinks like a bunch of fat gamers' ass. I'm not joking. When you used to go, so I had a friend who sold comic books and drew comic books and he got kind of famous with it shout out to my famous celebrity friends and i used to go with him to the comic conventions and i would berate him i would make fun of his ass even 20 years ago dude okay so we would go to those comic conventions because he was trying to get you know published and whatnot and the whole damn comic convention smells like ass because everybody in there is a chunky comic nerd who does not bathe the whole place just smells like butt. And anytime you go to video game stores, back when there was GameStop and all that, it was notoriously the same butt scent of the comic stores and the comic conventions. And I would just berate my buddy all the time. Dude, you're all a bunch of damn nerds. Not Chad nerds like this audience. I'm talking real nerds. Now, who knew that they would actually take over the world? movies I can't watch a movie anymore because it's all comic books and I watch a movie and I'm reminded of ass because comic book stores comic books comic conventions and now bookstores smell like fat gamer ass and to a spurg like me who has sensory overload do you think I want to smell gamer ass. Maybe some days. Not most days. What is wrong with people? People, why are you stinking, dude? Ugh, nasty. So I don't know how we got to that, but I'm just ranting about the fact that these people have destroyed bookstores. So they don't, bookstores don't exist anymore. You might as well just combine Comic conventions, furry conventions, gamer conventions, stinky ass conventions, all into one because they're the same. It's a confluence of power and influence there with a just stank rubbed on top of it. A big fat dose of stank on top of it. So uh, I can, there's nowhere to go. You go to a used bookstore, maybe, maybe. Although the last one I went to they won't let you in the door because of Koof. Ugh, whatever, dude. What is going on? It's the end of the world. It's got to be the end of the world. So the <laughs> number one, <laughs> there's no metaphysics is itself the number one metaphysical mistake. And these are in no specific order. You can find them all. 